the first year that we are alone. The kids have all. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, today we're gonna do like a vlog style. I have been asked by so many of you guys to tour my entire office, to show you how I organize my month, how I organize my week, um, to show you just like the computer area, the desk area, give you a bit of a desk tour as well. So I'm gonna do an office slash desk tour of this part of my house. So this is where I spend most of my day. I work at home, so it was important for me to have a bomb diggity office, and it was a big goal of mine for a long time. So this is my little sanctuary. I'm gonna take you guys through as much of it as possible. I will share where everything is from. I will link it all in the comments down below. But for right now, what I would love from you guys is to make sure that you guys are following on Instagram as well as on Snapchat because that's where you see all the behind the scenes as well as all of the tags as to where everything is from and usually where I hang out the most other than YouTube. So if you aren't following all along, I'll like link it like how I usually do that. And I, Carl, just look, you wanna say hello? You were in the last one. Do you have glitter on your face? Say hi, you're getting groomed soon. You ready for the tour? He's, he makes an appearance in almost every video. He will probably be the thumbnail for this as well. So if this is a video that you guys want to see more of, just keep watching. Alrighty, so walking into my office, you guys can see it's like around 4 p.m. That kind of gives you an idea of like how I film my videos every single day. And yes, I do wait till the last possible second to do it of daylight. The sun will literally set in a few. So let's start with this because this is the most popular topic of conversation. I'm going to hold the camera far enough away so you guys can't see like the bottom half of our very merry YouTube party, but this is my game plan for the month. This is usually my game plan for my business as well, my coaching business, but for right now, it is straight up like which video I'm filming and when, because that's my top priority, which kind of also ties into my business, because my business is like majorly social media, but this is how I plan my entire month. So this is the calendar that everybody has been asking me about on Instagram and on Snapchat. So this, I'm gonna take you like close to it. This is a piece of plexiglass right here. Can you guys see that? And then there's like this little grommet thingy majigger. The whole thing, this top part unscrews, it comes off, there's a hole that was drilled into the plexiglass and then onto the wall. There's a full DIY of this on Pinterest and the, the vinyl that you see up here, it actually continues, like you can have five weeks or four weeks or like a full wall cal calendar of these squares. I just chose to have one at the top because I like the free space more. But that vinyl is just off of Etsy. I think a ton of people make it. So I had the glass cut and you know, some companies can just do it for you. We know a carpenter that did it and they just drill the four holes. Totally doable, search up on Pinterest. So from there, you can kind of see my at sign artwork up there. It's like a little bit of like a metal rustic kind of vibe. So I wanted like a chic rustic vibe, which is usually what I go for. Like white on white restoration hardware is the only way that I can explain my office and my style. So that's why I had this kind of vision. So my kind of, my tagline and my kind of reason for being is helping, especially women, dream a little bit bigger. And it's also very Disney-esque, like just dream bigger. So I had dream and believe up here and it went with the at sign. And then from here, these are all the shelves that we had put in. So I had, you know, pinned a ton of ideas on Pinterest. I had visited a lot of model homes actually in Fort Lauderdale that inspired me for this house. And so I have to give a shout out to my mother-in-law that helped a ton, but we had like this vision of doing these shelves all across this wall. And this wallpaper is actually faux, like it's not faux, it's cork, but it's like a very thin piece of cork. So what's really cool is it absorbs the sound, but it also just looks wicked awesome cool. So under all the shelves, there's some little lights and it kind of just shines down on all of the, the objects that we put up. And it was so complicated actually to figure out what the heck to put on the shelves. So I've got like some Disney stuff. I've got a beautiful vase up there from our wedding um, from Andre's uncle. And then I have, you know, some of my favorite books. I have some Disney cookbooks. Most of my nutrition books are up there. A lot of Disney touches, like if you really look at it, like I have a, I painted him. That's just an extra large vinylmation is what they call them. I painted him gold. Little Gus Gus 
my favorite books, Art of Walt Disney. These artworks were just from HomeSense in the kids section and I love them. They came with another piece but I just love those and they matched the room. These pineapple vases are from CB2 and then I bought these fake plants to put in it. The elf is seasonal obviously. And then I have the clock which I thought was very Alice in Wonderland. I DIY'd this. So my mom had this piece of crystal and she was like, what do you want with that Angie? And I, she's like, this is garbage. I'm like, no, it's not, it'll be beautiful. And then I painted this gold with just some gold spray paint. I like dabbed it all on there. So that's a pretty cool DIY project if you have one of these laying around as you know a bookend or whatnot. So more elves, Santa, all of that. That's not always there obviously. And then I got this from, I think it's from Buclair Home. So dream and it kind of leans on the edge there. And then I always have these candle holders but I just put the rose gold ornaments in them from now. I've got my Yankee candle going. It's a peppermint candle. I have to say, not my fave, but it's pretty good. It'll do. These little fake, those are fake books from Uniqlo back there. And then my Disney store. See, I have like so many Disney touches. My Tsum Tsums. You need to have the up Tsum Tsums. Carl Fredrickson. That's what our dog is named after. You guys, Carl is a Morky. Okay, he's staring at me. Hi, buddy. That's his favorite spot. We're coming. I threw in the those rose gold ornaments that I didn't love in my tree. I threw them in a vase. I didn't want to put them to waste. So over here, I've just got like the only picture of Andre and I when we got married. Um, our team made top 10 this year. So you might see like a couple of work stuff in here as well. I always wanted one of these. You guys, he's just from Amazon. There's like really expensive versions. He's like a fake little balloon dog. I know, strange. This is my planner. Quick tip for you guys. Um, I can actually just link this down below for you, but this is what I do with my planner. So let's say whichever day you're on, and I thought this was genius, get like a recipe book holder. So this is just one of those stand up, stand up frame thingies. And you can keep your agenda or your planner just open to the page that you want it at or actually display it. Cool, right? So I had had these, I think I bought this for our retreat that I had my girls come to Ottawa and I needed like menus put up everywhere. So I just kept that. I've got same, just, you know, my go-to books are always out. I have my little yearbooks, which I've shown to you guys on Snapchat of all of my best memories. Some more coach stuff of my accomplishments, which is exciting. This is my go-to candle right now. Baby, it's cold outside. I just lit a fresh one just for you guys. So it's like the fireside scent. And then I've got all of, <laughs> all of those advent calendars, little guys. I threw them in there. And then some more rose gold ornaments. I put them in the sled. My holiday Mickey ears. So that's the gist of what's on here. And then I have some more storage under here with like my printer, extra paper, sticky notes, all of that cool, you know, kind of extra stationary stuff that I nerd out over. On my desk, my desk is super simple. It's actually made from old railroad tracks, I believe. So we went and found the wood. We had the same carpenter that actually made the shelves and the calendar, he made my desk, and then I had a piece of glass cut for the top of it. So I'm obsessed with my desk, I love it. Then I had this vision for a chair that I wanted like a mohair chair on it. So all that this is, is a mohair blanket that I threw on top of it. And then the design of the chair is just like gold legs, but super chic, love it. But it adds like the cozy chic with the mohair. And I have a ton, I have mohair everything in here. Like you can see all the pillows. It's kind of the theme. Now, okay, this is what I want to say my computer. So I have had this set up for as long as I can remember. I bought this computer with Andre when we were dating, when we were in university together. And what I can actually do is I can grab this pen and you can draw on it. So it's called a Wacom. Cintiq is what it's called. And it's, you know, I studied architecture in school, so it was very, very useful for me. And I actually had a similar laptop. So this is my setup always. So it's also very useful when I want like a Netflix show and I can work on the other screen. This is what I use to record whenever I'm doing a voiceover that it sounds, let's just be honest, better than this one probably. Like when it sounds really professional, this is what I'm using. It's my Blue Yeti microphone. This is how I go live on Facebook and on Instagram for my team. <laughs> Super professional setup. I just have this little cuppy like a boss and then my donut phone holder and then my phone is just in there. This is my planner. I, I have notebooks everywhere. I'm obsessed with notebooks and planning. That little gold light is from Ikea. And then turn, I'm trying to do this as organized as possible. Now, whenever Andre and I put in this TV, 
we did not think we would use it at all, at all. And I actually use it a ton because I can just have like Riverdale going on that screen while I'm working. And when it gets into like the wee hours of the night and I'm still, you know, working on different projects or editing videos, it's kind of cool to have something in the background. So that was like the perfect idea to have a TV there. And then I always have kind of like a fake arrangement sitting here. And for winter, I thought it would be really pretty to have this like snow one, which you guys saw in the house tour, but I just, it's so pretty. It's even prettier in real life. And then I've got my nebulizer, diffuser, I guess, and then warm cup of cocoa candle that just came in. And then of course my tree, which you guys saw in the house tour, which was a different version than the rose gold <laughs> tree that I shared. That light back there is restoration hardware. I'm obsessed with it. I'll actually take you guys closer. Oh, and so you know, the pillows just came in. They're from Society6. They totally match my theme of like peppermint and candy and fun. Another mohair pillow. This chair is from Artemano. And yeah, this, okay, we need to talk about this lamp. This was like the inspiration for the whole room. So it's kind of like a standing chandelier sphere situation. It's very similar to the one that we have hanging over our bed. And then this frame, you guys, I get questions about this all the time. And I'm so scared that people are gonna be like, oh my God, how vain is she? She has like a huge picture of her head in her office. This was a gift. And this is the part that means the most to me. That's our team, Team Uproar. So we did that. If you guys ever see, not during the Christmas months, whenever I have a guitar in the corner here, same thing, it was a gift for hitting Elite. Carl's throwing a tantrum. You guys don't usually see this part of my house. I have never really shared this. I think I have one picture on Instagram of me hanging out here. I love it here. So it's Carl's favorite spot. I have a couple blankets here for him. This is a Society6 blanket. It's like a faux marble finish. I thought it was pretty cool. And it matches the pillow. See, all Society6, Society6, Society6. Thanks, Carl. You're hitting my tripod, buddy. And then I have another blanket under here for him. So he lays out here. It's kind of cooler as well. And he just looks out the window. And then I have a pink pillow that I got from HomeSense, then another pillow that I think I got from Mobilia. So just the faux mohair pillow. If you were to get a real one of those, bless your heart, it would be like hundreds of dollars. And then this gold. See, I really went for like cozy, chic look. And this, you guys, you need this in your life. If you edit videos or you work at you know, on your sofa or whatever. This is just from Amazon. It's like, it's not super good quality. Like you can see the mouse pad is lifting up, but it's what I work on. So I can put my little feet under there and I can work on my laptop. So this is my laptop case. Isn't it pretty? And I just have an extra battery for my, for my big camera. So this whole thing was custom as well. So I had a goal my whole life and I feel like the Christmas nerds will understand this. You guys know in Miracle on 34th Street when the little girl goes into her window seat and she like pulls out something from under. I was like, I want a window bench whenever I'm older. Like I really want a window bench. So I got a window bench. It would be really cool if it could like open, but that would just be more storage for more knickknacks for Angie, which is not what we need. This is my YouTube planning journal. So any idea that I have for a video, when you guys ask me a question on Instagram or on Snapchat or whatever, it goes in here for a video idea. So. I thought it was such a pretty, and this is from HomeSense. I get all my notebooks from HomeSense now because they're just such better prices. And then I got this rose gold water bottle because, you know, I collect water bottles apparently. And a little Tsum Tsum lip balm. And then these are just like batteries, paper clips. Uh, what are those, those pin things? The markers for my whiteboard. So that's pretty much everything. And then back here you can just see like the wires are kind of hidden. And I store all of the wires they go into the back of this box there's another handle just like this on the back and they all kind of stream into there and all of the power bars and everything are in there so everything looks cleaner that way and i also i'll just give you guys some organizational tips can you see under the thing how i have little hooks that's how it doesn't look messy from the other side because it really is an open concept desk so that is pr i feel like i've covered everything and it's definitely very seasonal like the office does not always look like this, but hopefully that gives you guys a good idea. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed the office tour slash desk tour. It was really hard to cover every single piece of a room within a limited time span. So you guys let me know if you have more questions, comment them down below. If there's something you want to see more of or a different part of the house that you want to see more of or just diving in deeper to like home decor or whatnot. I love covering that type of stuff. So you guys let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Make sure that you guys are subscribed. Hit that bell so you guys get the notifications, especially this month, because videos be loading like all day, every day, at all different times. 
and you got to get those notifications in. I will see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate you guys so much. Love you. Bye, dudes.